I'm going to Gilgal. And from Gilgal, I'm going to Bethel. And he encouraged him and said, don't you know your master is going away? And he's going to Bethel. And he said, I know it right well. And he said, I'm going to Jericho. And he said, I'm still going. When you have an expectation from God and you need a blessing from God, people are going to discourage you. Some will say, where am I going with? What is he doing? Why is he go, going so crazy for God? Why is he fasting so much? Or what is he trying to prove? But the truth is you have an expectation yes. that God is going to bless you. Yes. You have a need, glory to God, that needs to be satisfied. Yes. And that need can only be fulfilled by Jesus. Oh, glory to God. And you need to be like these three folks. You need to press through the crowd. You need to climb up on the roof. Uh -huh. And your expectation should be that even though right now you feel that like everybody going to know how I feel, that shouldn't stop you. Right now you might feel that somebody would say, I thought she was spiritual. How come she is responding to the altar call? Well, let me tell you something. They haven't got your expectation. If they want to live low, let them live low. But you know you got to live better than that. There's in your life. You want to go high. Oh, glory to God. I refuse to live in the valley. I refuse to live low. I want to go high. Elisha wanted to be better. He said, I want to be better. But his master said, don't you know, I'm going home. He said, I know it right well. Well, why do you keep following me? Because I expect the blessing. Oh, Jesus. Some of you have been years, but you still haven't got the blessing that she got. Some of you have been following the preacher for years, but you still haven't got the blessing that he got. You need to press through. Sometimes you get to your Jordan. And what pastor can strike Jordan and cross over, and you can follow in a track, there's going to come a time when you need to strike Jordan. Right. Mm -hmm. If you don't have no expectation, you'll never cross over Jordan. Yeah, if you don't have no expectation, you'll never raise the dead. Right. If you don't have no expectation, you'll never lay hands on the sick right. and they shall recover. If you don't have expectation, you'll never... And he said, right, if I don't have it now, I will never... Right. So you gotta have an immediate attitude. If it ain't gonna happen tonight, it may never happen for you again. Who's gonna come for their blessing tonight? Who's gonna strike Jordan tonight? Who's gonna tear off the roof tonight? I ask you to come. I ask you to come. You don't need no music to come. You just need to come. If you need the Holy Ghost, you don't need nobody to rub you. You don't need to watch. You don't need to see who's coming. Maybe you're the one that should be laying hands. Why don't you meet your expectation and start to lay hands? Somebody has got an expectation tonight. They crossed over into 2009. And let me tell you something. They need a blessing tonight. But at the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burden of my soul rolled away, it was there by faith, I saw it. Come on ministers, come on ministers, lay hands with expectation, lay hands, 